You can tell from the thumbnail, this is a unboxing slash review. This is my first time actually doing this. Uh, but I do like air fryers. I, I had a, I, I don't know if I got the brand of the one I had. It's a decent one, but I've had it for a couple years now. And I figured it's time for me to get a new one. And I saw this bad boy on sale, so I figured, why not test it out on my YouTube channel or my Facebook channel. I have so many channels, it's hard to keep track. Uh, so let's get to it. This uh, ninja is supposed to be like a multi press uh, pressure cooker slash air fryer, uh, steamer, it's supposed to do everything. So let's see if it's worth all this money. It's a very big box. I was actually thinking about getting a bigger version of it until I got, <laughs> oh, until I saw this box and I was like, no, no way. So in here, right now, some instructions showing like different versions of the Ninja. Uh, nothing special, you know. Styrofoam as usual. You gotta keep it nice and tight. I'm just throwing the truck up. I'll clean it up later. All right, so we got a, a lid. Can you see that? Have a rack. I think it's supposed to be. I think it's the crisper slash steamer. Let me read the instructions on this. And then we got the big daddy inside of the box. So so far so good. Not a lot of pieces out. What it says it can do. I assume it's way more pieces inside of it. Okay, so I think that's everything. Side. Let's see, can I finally sit down now? Alright, sit down again. Alright, so let's get this out of the plastic. Well, I'm not gonna do the big head first. Let's get, let's get this top first. We'll leave the rack. Let's go to the small one first. I'm over this jumping step. Let's see what this is. Alright. I'm not sure. What, what is this? I have no clue what this is. All right, all weird lumps. Okay, bands. All right, I was about to say, I think this thing is broken. I think it stands up like this. And maybe when you're cooking stuff, I think you maybe can cook stuff at the bottom. It's up, and maybe it's up on the top. I'm not sure yet. But I thought I'd get finished with this and I'm actually gonna try out something. And this is the lid, which I'm kind of confused because there's already a lid on it. So I'm not sure what this lid is for. I'm gonna open this up as well. Nice and shiny. Alright, instructions. We need instructions. Alright, so I think this might be the pressure. Yeah, this is the this is the pressure cooker lid. I guess the lid is interchanged. So you use the pressure cooker. You gotta see. Like that. It's okay. Alright, so we're gonna put these to the side and we're gonna tackle the big one. Alright, I'll let you guys see the buttons up front. Alright, nice and chromed out, just so I like it. Open her up. I think this is the, um, you can see right here, this is the air fryer, which is basically why I got this, because I want a new air fryer. I need a bigger one. The one I have at the moment was a very small, and it was packed with prime. So, they packed it very well, so I'm, I'm really impressed with that. This, uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this little blaze on it, so it's not I don't know. Uh, so I'm really about to read the instructions on this to make sure I'm not screwing this up. More paper, paper or plastic, what do you want? I think it's like a four or six, four, no, I think it's like a six, maybe six point five, uh, I think like a slow cooker. And it says it in here. Stuff here as well, and I think that is it. That's really the bottom. 
and I ripped my cheek sheet. So maybe I could, I cut this thing open. Basically, has a little cheat sheet that shows you everything. I guess not everything, but a lot of stuff you can cook with it. And it was, oh, it even explains why are there two lids? Uh, two lids designs a lot of pressure cooking crisp. But I guess if you want to uh, use an air fryer, you want to keep this one on. And if you want to pressure cook it, you'll swap it. You'll use this. One. I don't know. I never really use a pressure cooker, so it'll be pretty interesting to do this. I have no clue. Hope it's easy though. Wow, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know how you put this thing out of it. It looks like it's kind of attached on here, so I'm not sure how it just comes off. There's a little handle on it. I don't know what this handle is for. Let me stop before I break something. Let's see. Pressure lid. Let's make one side. I have no way to go on this little side of here. Oh, maybe. and shows me like step by step what I need to do and what is everything for. So this rack, I guess when it's like this, it's a steamer and it's on top, it's for brawl. Brawl, it's called brawl, I can't really say it right. And this, this is the air fryer one. So you just stick that one in there, put this stuff in, stick it in here. Lid on it, hit your timer, blah blah blah, and it'll fry it up. Like, they're taking like whole chicken and all kind of stuff in here, so pretty interesting to try all this stuff out. Alright, right, I'm gonna cook something in a second. A nice, a nice little book to show you all the kind of little things you can cook in as well. But like, very interesting. I'm basically, I'm basically gonna use the chicken, honestly. Uh, overpriced air fryer cooking chicken wings. <laughs> but honestly, uh, I've had Ninja products before and I've had some issues with it. That's kind of why I decided to buy this one. And I'm going to test it out to see if it's like, actually worth the money. It's a fried and good blender that I own. Uh, if you guys like this video, uh, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, I, I do gaming as well. If you like to watch me game, it's awesome. If you don't, you just came for the cooking. Hey, even better. I also have a Facebook page, it's Cooking Dead. I do a lot of, I do more gaming than cooking on that. But I have, also have an Instagram. You can check that Instagram out, it's all, it's in my description. You can like that, and I put a lot of food pictures and stuff like, like that on there. So, um, like always, guys, have an awesome day. I'm gonna this thing, and... Psych, I know you thought this video was over with, but it's not. Uh, so the first video was basically me showing you the air fryer and everything like that. So this other half of it, very quick video, so don't run off. It's basically me trying it out. Because it is one thing to show you all the little parts and pieces, but it's a second to actually see how this bad boy works out. So I'm going to try to make some chicken, and I'm kind of really trying to figure out what these parts are because I haven't used it yet. <laughs> And I was gonna use that first rack at first, but I'm like, nah, I don't think that's gonna hold right. So I got some seasoned chicken I already seasoned up. Cause I'm, I love chicken, man. If you wonder what I seasoned it with, just watch any of my chicken videos and you'll see all the 11 herbs plus 13 of the herbs and spices and stuff that I put this chicken in. So like I said, we mainly just gonna see how this bad boy works. Cause like I said, I have an air fryer beforehand that I've been using. They cook that chicken to perfection. So we're gonna see if this do what you all can do just as good as my other one or at least <laughs> not have my, my chicken soggy. So we're gonna speed this up. Check it out. Look at that. It's already kind of getting a little golden brown over here already. It's close. It's close. It has potential. <laughs> it, it has the potential. 
we're going to flip it over. And even my other one, I had to flip the chicken over as well to get it crisp up like I wanted to. Like I said, but it's slowly getting there. So a lot of people wondering, man, how your chicken be looking so good? You you deep frying that? Nah, man, I don't be... I don't be deep. I ain't deep frying no chicken since that uh my very first chicken video, which is I that's been a minute. <laughs> All right, so we gonna flip the chicken, put it back in there again, and after we are done, I think I put this thing in for about 20 minutes. You see, like it was ripping through the skin. I got it so crispy. <laughs> And this is my first time actually using it. I actually made this video a while ago and I've had more time to kind of practice on it to get more adjusted to it. So this time, this time the chicken was, it was okay for me. But like I said, I done had the air fryer for like a couple months now and I've, I've perfected the craft now. So I, I got the chicken a lot better. And I, I plan on making some, um, some videos on that as well. Like I got my normal cooking videos but I'm thinking about, I'm not thinking about, I already know I'm going to start making some air fry videos. So just stay tuned and check out the new format that I'm, I'm kind of developing right now. And like I said, this is my first time trying this thing out. The chicken came out okay, but I've had this air fryer for a couple months now. So at the end of this video, you're going to see a couple pictures of other stuff I didn't cook. Like I made steamed shrimp, I made snow crabs, I made steak, chicken breast, chicken thighs, I've done it all. Like always, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'm about this thing. Salute!